piece of major breaking news we just wanted to update everybody on at the moment. Let's go ahead and put this up there on the screen. Several people uh, have been murdered in Maine, Lewistown, Maine, after a man uh, who is likely Robert Card, who's been named as a person of interest. Photos released of that man in a mass shooting incident at a bar in Lewistown, Maine, as I mentioned. Now, the details on this uh, remain and still coming out. They show uh, photos released by the sheriff's office of him holding um, some sort of rifle, uh, rampaging through and murdering people. The de death toll crystal is unknown right now at this time. Um, Mr. Robert Carr of Bowdoin, Maine is the person of interest, as I said, who was named by law enforcement. He is actually a firearms instructor and a former, or is a U.S. Army reservist as well. Some of the details also on the motivation, unfortunately, for Mr. Card. Um, one document that's been circulated to law enforcement officials, Crystal, said that Card has been committed to a mental health facility for two weeks in the summer of 2023, did not provide details about his treatment, but said Card had reported at that time hearing voices and threats to shoot up a military base. So, okay, um, that's what we know about him so far. Has not yet been apprehended by law enforcement, but uh, it does look like it is a horrific situation. We're not telling anybody what the death toll is because we don't know. Uh, that's been cautioned yet from law enforcement, but it's it's not small, it's unfortunately. It's horrific. Yeah. It looks like this occurred at multiple locations, both a bowling alley and a restaurant mm -hmm. in this town of Lewiston, Maine. Um, what the local paper is saying is that at least 16 people were killed and perhaps as many as 22, uh, dozens more injured in multiple shootings. As Sagar said, he is still on the loose. So this continues to be an unfolding uh, tragedy and breaking news story. People, residents in that area have been told to shelter in place. He is considered to be armed and dangerous. They said this morning that they did find uh, the vehicle that they thought that he had used basically abandoned, but they still don't know where this dude is. According to what we have, the information that we have at this time, so a horrific situation. If these numbers um, do, you know, end up being accurate, this will be likely the worst mass shooting in Maine history. Maine has not actually suffered with that many mass shootings as compared to the rest of the country. Um, so our hearts break for the community there, for the people who have lost loved ones in yet another horrific mass shooting tragedy. And, you know, a lot of questions here, of course, about the fact that he was known to have mental health issues. He was reportedly known to have said that he was hearing voices, that he wanted to shoot up a military base. And somehow still this firearms instructor able to, you know, be free, have these kind of weapons, and perpetrate this type of horrific mass tragedy. Yeah, that's going to be the big question about how the weapons were acquired um, in terms of, so Maine does not have a red flag law, as, as uh, I understand it. However, you know, uh, based on a lot of regulations, most state, local, and federal do require that if you do have a you know, mental health event like that, also questions around like whether he would still retain access to firearms from his job, whether he was cleared, his army reserve status, and what the military knew about all of this. So, you know, we're not going to drop this one because in almost every single case, Case, you know, known to federal authorities is almost like a meme at this point, but unfortunately does remain true. So uh, that's what we know about the situation so far. It's a terrible, uh, terrible event. The people of Lewistown right now are sheltering in place. Nearby Bates College students' uh, classes are canceled and they're anxiously awaiting, you know, probably a lot of terrified parents out there. Um, the advisory from law enforcement is don't approach him. He is considered, as you said, armed and dangerous. That's basically what we've got so far. Yeah, that's unfortunately. right. Hey guys, if you like that video, go to breakingpoints.com, become a premium subscriber and help us build the best independent media organization on the planet. That's right. We're subscriber funded. We're building something new. We want to replace these failing mainstream media organizations. So again, to subscribe, it's breakingpoints.com.